All right, my friends, today we're making some fish. This is actually called sable fish. I had never heard of it until today. I was at the fish market and they told me I should try it, that it's like a white salmon. So we're gonna cook it up and I'm gonna let you know what I think. Simply cut it in half. We're gonna grab our new Dano seasoning. That's right, that's the blue top. We're gonna sprinkle generously. Get it patted in and do it again. I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of seasoning that I'm putting on there. Well, don't be salty, my friends. We're only 50 milligrams of sodium per serving. We use a real sea salt, so you still get that salt flavor that you need, but the rest of it is natural ingredients and natural flavors. Now we're gonna fire us up a giant cast iron pan. Get it preheated to like a medium high temperature. Give it about two to three minutes. Go on and slice you up about two or three tablespoons of some nice Kerrygold butter, that stuff. Now our pan's nice and hot, as you can see. We're gonna go on and add in some grapeseed oil. It's for high heat cooking. Now we add in our sable fish. I know I said earlier we were gonna preheat this to a medium high temperature. You actually only need a medium temperature, that's it. All right, it's been about two minutes. We're gonna add in our Kerrygold butter. It's been another minute. We're gonna go on and give them a flip. It's been about a minute. We're gonna go on and cut the heat off. All right, y'all, so the heat's been turned off for about three minutes. As you can see, it's still sizzling. So we're gonna go on and remove this from the pan. So here we go. My first time trying the sable fish. What did I put in that? That's like the best seasoning I ever had. That's pretty good, y'all. You need to try it with the seasoning. You know how salmon's kind of buttery? That's like really buttery. That's wow. That is really good fish. Wow. Yeah. Dano seasoning for the win. Yum yum, get you some. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment. Like always, keep sprinkling, my friends. We'll see you next time.